You know, Priya, if uh, Pauline Marois was elected to a majority government, I'd probably be having a serious conversation about possibly leaving Quebec. But it's not. It's a minority, so my panic level has subsided a little bit. But nonetheless, if you do want to leave Quebec, there are resources out there to help you do that. And uh, quitterlequebec.com launched, uh, I believe last year uh in march 2012 and now they've launched the english version leavingquebec.com and it's a resource to help people do just that leave quebec and uh their their slogan um which i think is really funny is something al along the lines of um you know people say why did you leave when you should be asking why you stay why you're staying uh on the line from hong kong is uh, the founder of quitterlequebec.com and leavingquebec.com uh, yannick l'italien uh, yannick welcome uh, thanks for having me, Dan. Uh, so first, uh, tell us a little bit about how uh, you ended up in Hong Kong and why you decided to start this website. Um, well, uh, I, I will need to uh, just correct some facts on the website, but I'm, I'm basically in Hong Kong. Uh, long story short, because I fell in love with the place. Uh, my former significant other was from here. I was living in Toronto at the time. I left Montreal actually in 2002. Um, so over the course of visiting here maybe three or four times, uh, the significant other wanted to stay in Toronto. Uh, when things went south between her and I, I decided to take the plunge and give things a try here. Mm -hmm. It's been almost three years. I've never looked back, and I'm quite happy. So, so w what advice would you give to somebody that's kind of on the fence? It's like, maybe I should leave Quebec, maybe I shouldn't. I don't know what the career prospects are here. It's politically, you know, I don't, I'm sick of the language, politics. W what's your, what's your like, go-to advice for them? Um, see, see, this is where it's kind of a, a, a slippery thing because we basically, like, the, the website itself uh, is not, meant to push people or to influence or to sway their decision we're not there to, to tell people go or stay okay uh, reason being is that it's a very personal thing and it, it is something about you know also personal responsibility I mean you look at the government in Quebec and it pampers and surrounds a lot of the things people do and sometimes relocating outside of the province uh, also means taking on a few things onto yourself. I'm thinking, for example, health insurance, if you go to the States, uh, that the government doesn't do for you. So if you're ready to leave, we're there to help you. But we're not going to say stay or go. And, and you know what? It is something I think that's pretty much uh, deep down. You know, if, if you're wondering if you should go, I guess the question would be, Ask yourself why you're wondering that. What's pushing you towards that decision? And what uh, type of resources are on the website, uh, leavingquebec.com? Well, actually, we've uh, we've started partnering with uh, a bunch of people. So right now, we're really happy that uh, a few people have actually jumped on board because because of the fact that we're so uh, well seen and known in cyberspace. Uh, we've now got a mover service. We've got a travel, uh, not travel insurance, but basically what's called expat insurance. Um, I'll give you, for example, if you're leaving the province, uh, obviously your, your health care card's not going to work. Uh, so, for example, if you're starting a job in the States uh, and you've got benefits on that job, uh, the time that you go from, let's say, Montreal to that job in the States when you start your first day of work, you're not covered by insurance. So, so little details like that, and we've got more people adding on. Uh, we also have, I believe, an immigration lawyer in the States that's actually joining us as well. Uh, and the guy specializes in, you know, purchasing real estate in the States, uh, transferring your business there. We're actually working on a partner in Hong Kong here for people who want to transfer either businesses or assets uh, on, you know, this side of the Pacific Ocean take advantage of those things. Mm -hmm. So really a repository, a one-stop shop, if you will, of various services that you may need uh, if you're looking to leave. And if you're, you know, uh, highly educated at the top of your game, you know, young, bright, like Supriya and I, for example, <laughs> I, I mean, do you, do you stop and think, you know, why why don't you just leave? I mean, is uh, is there, are you surprised that so many people, that more people aren't leaving Quebec, given that the opportunities seem to be so limited? 
Um, to tell you the truth, actually, one of the biggest surprises of the website, uh, which, by the way, I, I was going to say earlier, com actually exists, has been existing for the last eight years. Oh, wow. It was founded June 24th, 2005. That's right, on St. jean Day. <laughs> nice. And, and actually, it was a guy named Jonathan Bouchard, a friend of mine, who started it and didn't really have time to take care of it. Um, and, and the format that you're seeing now is very, is drastically different from what it was at the beginning. At the beginning, it was really basically a website and a forum, and people would come to the forum, uh, and, and this is obviously all in French, people would come to the forum to vent, to, to say, you know, uh, and the government's taking so much money out of my pockets and, and so on. Uh, we basically recouped the site from him, gave it a revamping, changed the general direction that it's going in, uh, and now it is what it is. So rather than trying to foment negativity, um, we're basically trying to put a positive spin on things. Have you seen any increase um, in traffic? I know that you guys recorded your record peak of, of, of website traffic on uh, September 4th, which is the day Paul yep. Marois was elected. <laughs> Have you seen a lot more traffic since that day? Well, I would tell you that, you know, the, generally speaking, okay, with the liberals prior to Polin being elected, uh, but generally speaking, we don't need to do any kind of advertisement. The government of Quebec takes care of everything. <laughs> <laughs> you got that big old debt clock on your website that keeps running. What are we? I think we're about two hundred fifty billion. Last time I checked. No, I'd rather not think about it. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't regret your decision? Uh, absolutely not. Absolutely right. not. Uh, Yannick uh, L'Italien, uh, co-founder of quitterlequebec.com and the new English version, which is uh, which is going online, uh, leavingquebec.com. Uh, thanks very much, uh, Yannick. Been a pleasure. Joining us all the way from Hong Kong, Supriya. People, you know, who want to get away, want to go far away. Far, yeah, far apparently. Away. <laughs> uh, say what is next, our quote of the week. Delmar and Devetti on CJAD 800.